all right uh prof back on this one this all sport trend this is trending on all social media right now go to guys to city and felix to chelsea you just want to talk about the significance of Gundogan coming in into Premiership again. He's not a new person at all. Uh, it's, 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 for, for me, but I just want you to talk first, uh, Prof. Uh, yes. I just need the signing. Yeah, thank you for the very on massive, massive news right now. He'll like Gundogan, who obviously was a former Manchester City player, won the treble with them. Let's not forget mm. uh, in the in the season 2022-23 season before leaving last season, you know, to, for a new challenge in Barcelona, where he hasn't really had it. Uh, you know, he hasn't really been satisfied with the way the club uh, was 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 run last season. I'm talking about Barcelona. He, you know, I think Urgan went there with very very high standards uh, and thought maybe he was going to be able to get into that in Barcelona, but that wasn't the case. Uh, we, we, we could recall severally that uh, Gurugan had complaints about, uh, uh, you know, if not the manager, the players, the, the, the mentality, especially of, uh, of some of the players of that club. And so now he's back to Man City on a free. You know, for me, this is a massive, massive, this could be potentially a massive sign that for me would be the difference between uh, a, a City winning the title or maybe another team getting it uh, off them. Because if you look at how important this man was in the dressing room, the former captain goes in and out of, of, of Man City. He's been in Premier League for he knows just want to do it. When I think about Gundogan, I think about the the twenty twenty the, the two seasons ago when um uh Gundogan won the game, won the the fine uh, no, was it two seasons or three seasons ago when it was Liverpool versus it was three seasons ago. Liverpool yeah. versus uh, City head to head. I think Aston Villa, the last match of the season, Aston Villa versus Man City, Aston Villa went two goals ahead and uh, it was to 20 minutes to go. Man City came back to win the game 3 2. Gurugan was the one who scored the last goal, you know, you know, at that moment in time to make sure that the title goal didn't go to, 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 uh, to Liverpool. So when you think about moments like that, big moments like that, this man is made for the big moments. He's a big, big game player. I also remember the, the goal he scored against United in the FA Cup final. I think, final. you know, yes. first minute of, yeah, he put it, put in the bullets, he rocket into the, into the post. So this is a massive, massive signing for, for Man City. For me, you know, they just show, they just show how they, hmm. they are going around their business. You know, they signed up, you know, not too much money from Jerome. They are, they've gone to get Gurugan on the free, you know, making this very important sign. You know, for me, I think the way Pep wants to use him is he wants to probably alternate him and, and, and Bruyne. I think Pep has looked at Kevin Bruyne and seen that he's not at his best uh, as he used to be. And so he's like, okay, what can I do? You know, there's no another Kevin Bruyne out there at this moment in time. If you look around. So just bring Gurugan, who still possesses a lot of quality, and you can rotate that midfield. I think for me, this is a, if I'm a national fan who who hmm. can't who we who, you know we support it because it, I'll be drained. I will really be drained by such a signing. To be honest, is a something is a, is, a, is a serious serious signing. Hmm. Well, uh, moving on to uh, Felix going to Chelsea, he's back again. Uh, you as a Chelsea fan, what do you feel about? What's your thoughts on this? I mean, at first, I, I mean, the, 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 I was just watching the announcements, you know, of, of uh, Joe Felix and on on, uh, on the Chelsea Instagram page. It was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. You know, they used the song "Home Homecoming" by Kanye West, uh, "Coming Home Again." Oh wow! Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. That the boy is back home again. I love the 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 the, 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 sign, the, the announcement of of Joe Felix. I mean, Joe Felix, he, you know, he, he was in Chelsea. Uh, was it two seasons ago as well, yeah, for, for a loan loan spell when Poch uh Poch decided that he didn't want him. It was there for half a season. Um for me, once he got once he wore that Chelsea shirt, I can tell you for a fact that a lot of Chelsea fans uh we we are drawn to him. You know, he's a silky player. So much so much reminds us of Eden Hazard, the way he glides on the ball, close control, you know, dazzles dribbles. So um is it's always a player that the fans are going to stick towards, you know, the way he plays. It's just that you know he has never really lived up to his potential. Let's be honest. Yeah, he was he was one of the wonder kids from Benfica when it signed for for Atletico for a huge amount over 100 million. They thought it was going to be the next uh, the next big thing, but he hasn't really lived up to his potential. So he has been loaned here and there, loaned to Barcelona last season. Didn't really do a lot. So now uh, we, we we expect him to now that he's in Chelsea. We expect and now that he has been signed permanently, you know, we'll be expecting great things for him. He he has always wanted to settle down. He loved London. He loves London. He's happy to be back home. 
he sees this as a huge challenge, you know. Uh, straight away, he has been welcomed by his teammates, like of Nkunku, Gorilla, their mates. You know, Pedro Neto is a, is a, a compatriot. Mm-hmm. So, they are, they are, he has, he has a, for me, he's a, he, he, tactically, I'm not... I'm yeah, not that's, in fact, that tactically, well, that yeah. tactics you're talking about is where I want to ask you some questions. Yeah. And um, how do you think um, it's going to suit in into, since you have so many people in that position, is going to play. How is it going to? Um, Mariska is going to use this um, guy, Felix, and there won't be any problem. I lost you there. Yeah, I can you hear. Were you. Ask- yeah, you were asking how how um, how is it going to fit into Mariska system? To be honest, uh, yeah. I'm yet to say for a fact where it's going to fit into as Mariska system. But as Mariska has come out now, another big huge breaking news to say oh, that he doesn't he doesn't want Raheem Sterling. He doesn't yeah. want ben, well. He doesn't want about twenty players of the of the forty two of the very very famous forty two Chelsea players. Called that uh, a lot of people have been screaming that Chelsea have forty two players. Uh, as Mareska has come to say, he doesn't want about twenty of them, and that includes Ryan Sterling. So if you imagine Ryan Sterling leaving, then I think you would you probably imagine he wants to use Joao Felix on the on the on the left hand side as the left winger. Uh, Joao Felix is a very very multi talented player. player. And he can play in different positions. He can play as the nine, the fourth nine, and on the wing. So he like Mareska likes players that are very fluid. You know who can play in different positions. So I think he might be looking to look use Joao Felix on the left on the left left hand side of the. Uh, of the attack, but you know, like I said, he can play in different positions. I'm yet to see, um, but 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 quality wise, I think is a, is a oh. good sign. And then I think it's also a sign that can that lifts the fan base up. You know, I think um, the fan base has been downbeat. You know, with all the things hmm. happening behind the scenes, the way some players have been treated, the way the club is run, the fans are not really really um, happy about it. But such a such a signing uh, is, is one that can lift the football club up, and uh, we're happy to to have him. Well.